XFTTD has a lot of advanced options that can be lost in the user interface. One of these features is the scripting option. Scripting allows a user a great deal of flexibility in terms of both designing the antenna and controlling the output. The following example will show how the scripting language with the preloaded script library allows a user to quickly create and simulate a spiral antenna. Once the simulation is complete, the spiral antenna pattern can be imported in XGTD. XGTD is a ray-based solver that uses the uniform theory of diffraction. It is meant for the analysis of antennas near electrically large objects, such as the monopole antenna mounted on a large aircraft, or in this case, a satellite. The first step is to open our scripts menu and import the Helix script that comes preloaded in XFDTD. The dialog box on the screen shows the imported script. Scripting is written in the QT scripting language. When the script is run, a dialog box pops up that allows the user to enter values in to control how and where the Helix will be created. There are other scripts available in the scripting library. In addition, the user has full access to write their own script to perform any number of functions. Here we can see the full three-dimensional Helix that was created through the XFDTD scripting interface. We're going to add PEC to the material definitions. We set the properties to Perfect Conductor and apply it to our Helix via the XFDTD drag and drop interface. Now that we've added our material to the antenna, we're going to extrude a conductive box as a ground plane. We're going to create a rectangular extrude by clicking and dragging on the desired location of our endpoints in the work plane. From there, we're going to extrude our object in the negative direction so it is created in the opposite direction from our helical antenna. We can see the entire three-dimensional model of our helical antenna on a box. We're going to apply PEC material to the box and rename the title in the parts tree. Here's a close-up view of the port connecting the antenna to the ground plane. The model is now complete and we're ready to run our simulation. Using XFDTD's GPU acceleration, the simulation will take less than 5 minutes to run. The three-dimensional normalized game pattern is shown on the screen. You can see that the helical antenna pattern is mainly a main beam without large side lobes. The gain pattern is going to be exported into a UAN file to be imported into XGTD. We're in XGTD now and we're going to import the UAN file that was exported from XFDTD. The Antenna Properties dialog box allows us to view the imported file to make sure the correct game pattern was grabbed. Now that we know we have the correct file, we're going to add our imported antenna pattern to our transmitter location. The transmitter location will be on the surface of a satellite. We're going to show our imported pattern so that we know we have the correct location for the placement of our antenna. Here you can see the 3D far field pattern from the XFDTD simulation on our 3D satellite model in XGTD. Our simulation has already been run, so we can pull up the results of some arcs of receivers. We can see the relative distribution of energy around the satellite from these receiver sets. We can also look at the 3D far field pattern from our antenna satellite system. We see how the far field pattern has changed due to the interaction between the satellite and the antenna pattern. In addition to the 3D representation, we can also pull up a 2D gain graph. This graph will allow us to see more numerical detail of the gain distribution from our simulation. The previous example showed how the scripting language in XFDTD can be used to quickly automate some advanced modeling tasks through the use of the QT scripting language. A helical antenna was designed and simulated in XFDTD, and the pattern was imported into XGTD. XGTD uses ray-based methods to calculate the interaction of the antenna with an electrically large object such as a plane, or in this case a satellite.
For more information on XFDTD, XGTD, or any other REMCOM software, call us toll-free at 888-7-REMCOM. International callers dial 1-814-861-1299 or email us at sales at remcom.com.